Hello, everyone. My name is Hojin Lee from Clear School Medicine, and I am going to talk about the intractum landscape of SARS CoV 2 virus human protein protein interactions by machine learning. So there are two objectives I need to look at. The first is to develop the protein sequence based multi class machine learning or deep learning classifiers for evidence or competence level prediction using the viruses during database. The second is to uh, using those classifiers, we want to create a draft interactum landscape of SARS-CoV-2 virus human protein protein interactions. So here is an overview of our machine learning and deep learning workflow. So we use the viruses spring database which does not include SARS-CoV-2 at the time of the analysis. This is the uh, network of PPI, virus human PPIs, which contain more than 80,000 uh, interactions between about 1,200 virus proteins from 102 virus species and about 8,500 human proteins. And each interaction has a combined scores uh, from ranging from zero to 1,000, which we convert into five evidence classes, species. And this is the distribution of number of PPIs uh, for evidence classes. And we are going to focus on the experimental PPIs, which belong to evidence class uh, three or two, uh, based on zero index here. And based on the data, uh, we first extract node features you know, the protein features, which are fraction compositions of 20 amino acids. And at this point, uh, we are developing two different uh, models, uh, which one is more canonical machine learning models, like random force and acid boost in this case. And another one is based on deep learning. We specifically use graph neural networks, so GraphSage or uh, generalized, generalized version of GraphSage or HinSage. For connected machine learning, we also extract edge features, which are 72 distance or similarity measures between amino acid composition profiles between virus proteins and human proteins. And based on the features, we develop the random forest and edge boost. For random forest, uh, we optimize uh, 36 models by grid search with temporal request regulation and 432 models for edge boost case with uh, the same and then for class foundation. And in short, we obtain up to 67% AUC and 37% accuracy for random forest case, and 74% AUC and 67% accuracy for XG boost case. And this work, this part has been uh, published as a preprint uh, recently, so you can refer to uh, the paper in detail. And for graph sage, uh, we're still in manuscript in preparation. But I'm going to show you briefly show you uh, the results uh, of, from graph stage as well, because this shows more than 70% accuracy, which is uh, pretty promising as well. And here I'm going to just show you a performance example of the best models for 20% validation set with this random seed. Uh, we see when in this case, when the forest shows 60% accuracy, as it was 67.7% accuracy. And if you look at computer metrics, again, I'm going to focus on this EC3, which implies mostly uh, experimental PPIs. And if we look at the individual classes, uh, focusing on F1 score, the extra boost shows higher F1 scores across all ind individual classes. Based on, based on this the perform better performing XG boost model, the important features were identified using two alternative methods here, one by gene index and the other by SHEP analysis, which is based on SHEP uh, game theoretic SHEP values. And interesting enough, we see that cysteine and histine are most two most important features. Where this minus means that the fraction of cysteine between virus and human, and the ratio means the ratio between the fractions, cysteine and histine fractions between virus and humans. 
One control experiment that we performed is to compare prediction of the experimental PPIs and with a prediction of text mining PPIs in the viruses stream data. Because the data size, uh, the difference is uh, pretty big here, six fold difference. But what we observe here is that actually boost in fact uh, shows higher accuracy with 94% accuracy compared to 90% accuracy uh, for text mining case. So despite the data size difference, uh, XGBoost uh, shows a good per prediction performance. And this is the agreement between random force and XGBoost for EC3 and test mining, uh, as we expect, shows mostly EC1 or EC2. So based on those encouraging results, we applied uh, those class virus to SARS-CoV-2 uh, for our second objective in two ways. So first, we apply that to intact data base, which are a collection of experimental PPIs. And here, I'm showing you the network by XGBoost with XGBoost predicted evidence. So EC3 for blues, EC4 red. So this can be viewed as prioritizing a network. So although these links, or the about 2,000 links from experimental data are equally meaningful, we can also prioritize those links based on this evidence class, predicted by XGBoost in this case. Uh, secondly, we also apply that to protein-wide interaction that pairwise the old pairs of more than half a million uh, between 27 SARS-CoV-14s and uh, about more than 20,000 human proteins. And here I'm showing you the subset of 22,000 PPIs with evidence class at least true by either exibus, uh, the best exibus or random first uh, star. And this is the another subset, 140 PPIs with the highest evidence class five by XV, XV star. And based on this interaction network, we observe that many human proteins are enriched in the vascular smooth muscle contraction and with targets and also distant to a components. There are a few more applications of this work that have been found in the past month, actually. So Giuseppe Novelli, so who is a renowned geneticist in Rome, in Italy, uh, it reached out to me by email, like by surprise, last month after reading my preprint, telling me about his COVID therapeutics his publication of HECT3 E3 ligases. And uh, his idea of using uh, the results from this important work to his ongoing research. And we uh, immediately realized that we can help each other uh, based on my results on interactum network results. And we found that hack domain protein, in fact, attempt to interact with size with the proteins with evidence class at least two with statistical significance. In other words, hack domain proteins are favored by size with two. Based on that observation, we are asking whether there are other protein families favored by SARS-CoV-2. In addition, we can also extend that to other virus species like human metanema virus, which uh, Dr. Novelli is also working on as well. So finally, I'm going to show you briefly about the graph neural networks uh, using graph sage or hint sage uh, architecture. On the left are the accuracies by 15 different models using three different drawback rates in the columns and five different edge embedding methods. As you see, without dropout rates, in fact, we see more than 70% accurate values and accuracies. So these are very promising. This is based on private stream. And if we apply that to SARS-CoV-2 in the data case, we see the prediction is enriched with evidence class two or three, in fact, which are mostly expanded PPIs. So, and this consensus is number of agreements among these 15 different models. We see more consensus of like uh, eight to nine for agents two compared to six to seven for agents one. 
but I think this is also very important because we will see. Okay, with that, I'd like to thank my collaborators for their helpful discussions and feedback and support. And there's a center for research company for computational resources and public health community that deals from engineering applied science and finally do this with the final fund to support this work. Thank you so much.